Welcome to tutorial 2.4. This tutorial is about stairs. First I'm going to zoom into the hallway where we're going to place the stair. You can use guidelines to define the position of your stair. It's not essential because you can actually place the stairs directly, snap into the wall or other components within your building. You may however find the use of guidelines easier to use to position your stairs when starting. We'll now select the first stair type, the straight stair. The first click defines the start of the stair, the second click will define the end of the stair. I'm now using Ctrl and W to actually change the snapping position of the stair. After the second click, the stair properties dialog will show where I can actually change the properties of the stair. Clicking on the 3D button will allow me to view the stair and changes in the properties immediately in the 3D view. Text here is automatically added. We can hide this because we don't want to see this in our plan. We go to visibility, scroll down to labels and disable stair labeling. Right, Control Z will delete that stair type. The second stair type is a geometrical stair. This requires multiple snap points to define multiple sections of the stair. The final snap point is selected with the right mouse key. The final snap point activates the context menu where you can select complete. Ctrl Z to get rid of that stair type. And the third stair type is a staircase with a landing. After entering the last point of the stairs, the stair dialog is displayed where you can actually change the various properties for this stair type as before. Double clicking on the staircase in the 3D or the 2D view will activate the stair properties. Here you can change the detail of the handrail, balusters and banisters.
you can disable either or both of the handrails. Here I've just removed the right handrail. So that completes our introduction to stairs and all I have to do now is save this project and look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.